Hi friends. So I'm going to tell you about the gaze palsy in just few minutes so that you can quickly revise it and get the concept of solving these questions. First of all, the gaze palsy, you have got two centers. For the horizontal gaze, it is the PPRF and for the vertical gaze, it is your roster interstitial medial longitudinal fasciculus. Now how they are related? What is INO and the one and a half syndrome? First of all, try to understand what is your gaze palsy. Gaze palsy means when you are not able to see in a particular gaze. Okay, so like if I take the example of the right gaze, see this is my right eye, this is left eye. So if I want to see towards this side, the right side, I'll use the lateral rectus of this eye and I'll use the medial rectus. Now see my hands like this. So these two are related with the horizontal gaze center that is PPRF. Now see this how it is related so lateral rectus is connected with the PPRF okay now this PPRF is giving the innovation to sixth nerve nucleus because lateral rectus has to be supplied by the sixth nerve so lateral rectus here PPRF and it is supplying the sixth nerve now sixth nerve hand is this means it is on the same side now this sixth nerve nucleus is connected to this third nerve nucleus which is supplying this medial rectus so I have got the connections between two the of these muscles because they are the yoke muscles which are required in the rightward gaze that is the dextroversion so when I want to see towards right my right lateral rectus and the left medial rectus both have to be innovated so how they are innovated this lateral rectus is innovated by the PPRF which is giving the uh, impu input to the 6th nerve nucleus and the 6th nerve nucleus is connected with the 3rd nerve nucleus here which is supplying this medial rectus and both are interconnected by the medial longitudinal fasciculus all right now what is happening suppose there is a lesion on the right PPRF right PPRF so what will be the problem no innovation to the sixth nerve nucleus on the same side so this lateral rectus gone no innovation to this one that is medial rectus on this side so this has gone and this has gone now if I have the problem with the same side medial longitudinal fasciculus also then what I'll get I'll get the same side adduction deficit and the other side abduction nystagmus now if you see what are the movements that are gone because of this PPRF the same side abduction movement had gone other side adduction movement had gone now due to the medial longitudinal fasciculus the same side adduction also gone and you are left with the abduction nystagmus so this eye this and this whole gone and this eye this is gone so what you are left with just the contralateral abduction this with along with the nystagmus this is called as a one and a half syndrome because this eye both the movements are gone this eye only half of the movement is gone and only this is left so this is the simplest version of the gaze palsy INO and one and a half syndrome I think before doing such questions you can justly quickly see this video and get a quick recap and get all the questions done of the gaze palsy let me know uh, how did this video helped you and also please suggest me what are the next videos you want to make me thank you happy ophthalmology